The other thing I want to share with you, uh, when JB's ready, he can uh, flash it, is this free ebook with leadership tips, ways that you can, uh, again, become a better leader for your club. Some of you may be out of practice. Uh, some of you will have this issue. You're a leader at work, and everybody loves you at work, but your club doesn't think of you as a leader yet or president. Even on July 1st, when you get up in front of the room and say, you ring that bell, I'm your new president, they go, whatever. You know, you're the same guy we've been sitting with for, you know, seven years, so we don't have to listen to you. No, but they do. You are the leader now. And these are ways that you can put that into place, so it's terrific. Okay, um, I wanted to uh, quickly uh, acknowledge some people in the room. This is another technique that you can use in your meetings to give people attention and help them feel good. Jennifer mentioned early on that she gives people recognition in the club, and because they didn't know who was going to be recognized next, everybody came to the meetings. Attendance actually improved. So I'm going to ask, uh, of the presidents-elect, people that are going to take office next year, who is the oldest, like, most senior Rotarian? Now, who's been in Rotary the longest that's taking the presidency next year? Who are we talking about? Eight years in Rotary, 10 years in Rotary, 23 years. I don't care if you're going to be president a second or third time, that's OK. Who is the oldest Rotarian in the room that's about to be president? Stand up if you think you might qualify. Let's have some fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Well, you're pretty young, man. I think you're either pranking me or you can't follow instructions. I don't know which. How, how many years have you been in Rotary, sir? 33. How many years in Rotary? 31. 31. You could sit down. How many years in Rotary? Okay, you can sit. Okay, thank you. How many years? Uh, what? <laughs> you, ju you just wanted to be recognized. <laughs> And it worked. <laughs> and, and everybody else sat down. Uh, sir, your name? Hey, Jim, what club are you in? Oh, sorry. How many years for you, sir? How many years? OK, thank you very much. You may be seated. 33 years. What's your first name? And what club are you in? That's fabulous. Thank you. Stand up, sir. Stand up. Now I want to know the youngest tenured Rotarian who is going to be president next year. This is always fun. The, you've been in Rotary a short time. Suddenly, he already knows who he is. Suddenly, you find yourself in line to be president. And you're thinking to yourself, how in the hell did this happen? <laughs> oh, look at this. OK, let's find out. How long have you been in Rotary? How long have you been in Rotary? Okay, you can sit a year. If you haven't been in Rotary a year yet, okay, you know how this works now. How, many, how long have you been in Rotary? Okay, you could sit. <laughs> Did you think I couldn't convert months to years? <laughs> you, think, you think I have long haul COVID? What's. Okay, so people figuring it out now, sitting down on their own, thank you. How long have you been in Rotary, sir? Five months? Nine, how about you? Nine months can sit down, eight months you're standing, year you can sit down. Where are you? Seven months. What is, uh, what is your uh, name, please? And why did you have to look at your name badge just now? <laughs> she says, Anne. And sir, your name again. David, stand up. And I want you to come meet Anne right now, please. Anne, meet David, the youngest experienced president meeting the oldest experienced president. You two. You two need to ch exchange cards or something. I want to do one more look, a little quick thing of Q&A, and then we're going to let you go. But before we do, I want to uh, give away a couple of um, uh, book packages. Again, just to help. 
This is the Work Hacks book. It's filled with all kinds of uh, techniques that you can use at work and also in your club, time-saving advice, presentation skills, that sort of thing. And this is the HUM booklet, okay? I want to give two sets of these away if you want to quietly get out your business card or create one. And then we're going to have people in all four corners of the room. Sir, raise your hand. Thank you. In the back, a hand. Anybody? Thank you. Perfect. In the back corner here, a hand raised, please. Thank you. And over here. And if you could have, over here, <laughs> if you could sweep toward the middle of the room and collect the business cards, we'll do the drawing that way. Thank you very much.